Ladies and gentlemen, good morning out there. Yes, it is a wet Saturday, early morning, 8.15 a.m., March 11, 2023. And guys, we are heading to a customer's house this morning because we couldn't get there during the week. Uh, the guys were doing the demo over the weekend, all over the week, and we're heading there now over the weekend customer of mine is renovating her kitchen space and she's making an open floor plan and uh, she took down a wall that was separating the living room and the kitchen and she's got some cast iron radiators that are in the way and she needs them one of them removed and one of them relocated so right now we're heading over the Throgs Neck Bridge leaving the borough of Queens to head over to the borough of the Bronx on this lovely, dreary, wet Saturday morning. And it's gonna be wet all day. It's gonna be wet and slippery all day. And sometimes that's, uh, that's not a bad thing so if you uh, apply that to certain applications, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Guys, we try to make it a little humorous out here instead of being so serious most of the time. But right now we're heading over the Throgs Neck Bridge where we can barely see any of the skyline where we could barely see Manhattan and Long Island. But we're heading to the borough of the Bronx and yes, we service the five boroughs including Long Island. And right now we are going to be in the Bronx today and then we are going to head back to the Queens area to help another woman out who's got no heat. And it's a chilly 36 degrees out here this morning. Hope everybody's nice and warm in their bed. But we are out here providing a service at a high level. And... There's nothing more than you can ask for than an honest service that's being provided. So if I'm in your service area, the five boroughs including Long Island, and you need some damn help out there, you know who to call. We're based out of Bayside, Queens, and we service the five boroughs. You can reach me at 646-423-2174. Doesn't cost you anything, just a phone call away. And I'm getting a lot of phone calls lately and there's a lot of window shoppers out there if you're a window shopper be careful who you uh who you hire but there's a lot of window shoppers out here and i can understand but you get what you pay for you can just call abe and he'll tell you <laughs> all right guys on that note let's go find a good spot and let's go remove and cap some of these radiators we're gonna have to drain this hydronic boiler and uh, get it done for her so let's get to it here we go guys we're out here on a saturday morning and it's freaking wet out here. It's going to be wet all day. But we're out here staying true to the good ones out here that need and pay for us. Good morning. Right, so guys, this is the wall that was here. That was here dividing the kitchen to the living room here. So right now we are going to remove this one. because This one's coming out. This one's coming out, that one's staying. So we're gonna open up this floor here and we're gonna plug these one inch lines in the floor, let's see. Okay, we're gonna cut this up floor. This is coming out, this is coming out. We're gonna plug it inside the floor. So let's, uh, let's make sure there's no water in any of these and uh, we're gonna make a nice cut from the subfloor so we could work cut and cape these nipples out and plug them. Here we go. Okay, nice. Nice little Dunkirk oil fire. Hydronic boiler. Oh, what a nice indirect. Nice 30 gallon indirect there. Let's drain this guy. Let's shut off the boiler feed. Let's shut off the feed. Let's drain the sucker. Get our hose hooked up. Spinning. 
Yep. Uh-oh. Okay, this valve is broken. Oh, man. That valve is broken. Oh, look at that. That valve is busted. Oh, I'm sure I'll see if we can get lucky with this one. This union here. Make sure there's no water in here. That's what we want. Good old sucking action. Beautiful. Get all that water out. Downstairs. Alright. Disconnect this one. There's no union on the one on the return. So we're gonna make a nice slice. Move this radiator away. Start cutting and capping. Here we go. All right. So guys, we did have some water here, obviously because of the flow check downstairs. I didn't want to mess with it and open up that flow check because it did look like it was in bad shape. So we had a little water here when we made our first cut. And um, it is what it is. We are removing this. Bagging it up. We're gonna make, finish our cut. Get this radiator out of here. Bring it right to the scrapyard. Oh man, that's the last thing I wanted to see here in this floor. Let me took this floor up. Oh man, guys, after ripping the subfloor out, I was hoping to have two fittings right here, but obviously they're not. They go down, and they go. I don't know where they go. Maybe they picked this one up over here, but oh man, I wish I had some mega press caps here, but. All right, let's cut it. I'm gonna thread this by hand, and I'm gonna thread this by hand. So one inch and three quarter. We are going to bring out the stock and die and start threading. Here we go. Now this is when you start using brute force, and this is where the the strength and the dedication comes in, guys. Because right now we're threading this piece of one inch by hand. We have our one inch die on there right here, but we don't have the stock because we're using Rigid's 690i handheld electric threading machine. I don't have the stock for this die. My stock and die set is in the shop. I don't have it on the truck. So right now we are just moving it with a wrench and it's going on pretty good. So we got our oiler right here. I'm gonna throw some oil right on these teeth. 
because we want them to last. But right now, we're gonna be threading some one inch black pipe. Here we go. All right. So, guys, we're gonna thread this piece of one inch. We got our die on there, and we're gonna go nice and slow and thread this piece. Okay, nice and easy. We just got a call from that lady who canceled for that no heat call because she's got to be somewhere. She's a lawyer or something, and uh, she's got to go meet a client somewhere. So we're taking our time here. We're not rushing, and uh, we're gonna get threading. Here we go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take my watch off because I don't want to damage my watch. Let's put that aside. And let's get threading. Here we go. Add a nice wrench on that. A nice little half turns, you know? Nice little half turns. Just like that. Might take some time, but, but we'll get it. Alright, some of you are going to think I'm crazy, but... We got the 690i in the floor right now, and we are threading this piece of one inch. Right now, we're gonna oil it. We'll oil these threads. And right now, we're gonna let the machine work for us. Watch how we do it, here we go. All right, you guys ready? Without breaking your wrist. Beautiful thing. Put the machine in reverse. Back it out. Thumbs up, baby. Thumbs up. That's how you put some nice threads. A nice piece of one inch. Beautiful. This piece goes straight down into the floor. Right now we're gonna do the three-quarter side. I'm gonna see if I can get my, I don't know if I can get the three-quarter gun on there. No, definitely not gonna be able to. This one we're gonna do by hand, strictly by hand. Let's oil these threads up. Let's start it with the Nipix, just so we can get it caught. Just like that. Wow, these dies are freaking perfect. They're sharp. They catch on the first bite. Beautiful. There you have it. All right. Let's make the rest up with the wrench. And let's plug these lines here. Here we go. Just like that. It's just three quarter, guys. It should go nice and easy. It should go nice and easy. It's just three quarter. You do this in your sleep. What makes it easier, if you keep oiling those threads, guys. Keep them cool to the touch. I should really stock up or load up on some mega press caps but this is just three quarter it's going nice and smooth nice and smooth beautiful that's yeah, beautiful so we got our one inch threaded and our three quarter we'll wrap it with some blue monster some mega lock we'll get two caps we'll do that now we're going to do the other one. so let's go do the other one all right all right so i want to say that we got lucky on that one but this one is not gonna be so easy. Let me show you right. why. So there was a wall here separating bedroom from little office or whatever. This right here is coming out. They don't want it no more, it's coming out. We're gonna cut and cap this below the floor. It looks like a one inch, piece of one inch stubbed up and a piece of half inch stubbed up. And this is the big guy here. 
we want to shift this one over. We want to rotate it. So we're going to see if we can break these two unions, these ground joints. See if we can swing this radiator valve 180 degrees and swing this elbow 180 degrees and have this radiator, which is this way, swing this way. So let's do this one first. Let's disconnect it, cut it, get it out of here. All right, we got both of these unions cracked on these ground joints here. And yeah, we're still getting water out of that side because of that flow check. It's got that flow check. So there is some water still in the return piping. <clears throat> but I'm not messing with that flow check. I'm not going to try to open it because <clears throat> it is old and I ain't playing with it. So right now we're just going to deal with a little bit of water here. And uh, we should be fine. Let's crack this open all the way. There we go. That's what we want. That's what we want right there. Let's wait for that to stop. Then we'll make a nice cut and get this out of here. In the meantime, I'm going to open up this floor. And uh, see what we got in there. Here we go. All right, so here's what we have here. A little bit of a CF. Clusterfuck. Not really. We're going to spin this out. We're going to plug this half inch, this three quarter by half elbow here. Because there's a T down there that picks up this guy. This one inch we're going to have to cut and cape right here. Because this is a T that picks up that return. So we're going to cut, spin, plug this. We're gonna cut, cape this one inch out, and plug it right here. And then we gotta work on this guy. Oh, yes. Guys, they made it easy for us. They used the half inch brass nipple here. We couldn't be more ecstatic. We don't have to cape this out. Yeah, they used the shiny brass nipple there. That's brass for you, ladies and gentlemen. Nice and smooth. Look at that. All right, let's plug this. And right now, gap filler right now we're gonna cut and cape this out so let's be careful not to damage the threads of this tee because if we do then we're fucked all right let's do it here we go all right so guys we got our nipple cut almost flush we got about half an inch sticking up out of this inch and a quarter by one by three quarter t and what i like to do is we got a new sawzall blade to keep this out. We're gonna cut the blade because eh, it'll fit. Maybe we'll just keep it like this. But for smaller diameter pipe, I like to cut half of the blade off. So you just have a piece of the blade. You make this blade smaller that can get in here. Right now we're gonna leave it. You know what? I'm gonna cut it anyway, just to show you and to keep this in the box for future. All right, guys, what I like to do is I like to cut this blade, get a nice pair of fresh snips. We're going to cut it, and I'm going to show you. Just like that. Just like that. See that? And you just made a nice fine tooth blade that can go in a piece of half inch you can cake that out so put this on the disposal I work smart out here not hard I'm gonna get a caping chisel it's a nice little caping chisel guys don't use a flathead screwdriver invest in a caping chisel See if we can keep this out. Here we go. All right, let's see. Let's keep this guy out. Here we go, guys. Nice and easy.
cake and chisel. And you're gonna get right in between those two cuts that you made. Just like that. You're gonna fold that piece in, just like that. You see that? And you're gonna hit this side in, hit the other side. side fold it in that's what it is should come out just like that you make two two relief cuts and you spin this up right out that's how you do it guys just like that and you know what if we did nick the threads which i don't think we did i'm gonna use some lamp wick on here we're gonna use some nice lamp wick because that's how we roll out here let's get a nice bite there we go just like that Beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. Let's turn this around. Okay. Mm. All right. Let's see. Beautiful, guys. Take your time. Don't rush, okay? I know time is of the essence. Your phone is ringing. You want to get to the next one. Don't rush, because that's when you start messing things up. So that's what we did. We made two relief cuts, and those threads look good, man. We, we didn't even hit them. We didn't even hit them. We didn't even hit them. We hit them a little bit right there. Not much. Beautiful. All right. Let's plug these two, and uh, let's work on this big guy swinging this over. Here we go. All right, guys. So we got our one-inch plug here and we got our half inch plug here we disconnected this radiator this radiator is a monster she's heavy you don't want this thing falling on you on a saturday morning let's put it like that let's see if i can turn this let's see if i can spin this let's see if i can spin that we're gonna rotate this radiator the new legs well the old legs are gonna go right here the other legs are gonna go right here let's see if i can turn this all the freaking paint on here. Let's see if we can get it. All right. Let's see. Am I either gonna make an ass out of myself or what? You think I could spin this? I'm gonna see if I can spin this. It's freaking three quarter. I mean, come on, man. This thing should come out. This thing should be able to spin. Guys, make sure you hold back. Here we go. You ready? Piece of brass. Piece of brass. Yeah, it's coming. She's spinning. She's a spinning. Okay. Let's get a better bite. Yeah, she's spinning for us. Thank you, mama. Okay. One more little turn. Okay. Beautiful. Mm. It's three quarter. Come on. All right. We're gonna spin the bottom now. Let's see if we can spin this little half inch guy here. We think we can do it. We're gonna try. It's just brass. Guys, make sure you hold back, okay? Make sure you hold back, baby. Make sure you hold back. See, you ready? One, two, three. Wait, hold on. Slip. One, two, three. Oh, wait, I slipped. I really slipped. <laughs> All right. Let's see, baby. Let's see if we can get this sucker to spin for us. Come on, let's see. Piece of half inch. Let's go. Piece of half inch. Come on, baby. Piece of half inch. Let's go. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's how you 
it's done. I think I went too much. I got a little excited here. Let's go back a little bit. We got a little too excited. It's a piece of brass. Beautiful. Good. Guys, put some mega lock on there, okay? Put some mega lock on this ground joint right here. Okay? Right on those threads, right on there. Right on there. On top, too. Paint that shit on there, like Bob Ross. All right. Guys, let's see if we can maneuver this radiator over without killing ourselves. Here we go. All right, guys, this is where the brute force comes in. You don't want this radiator falling on your way. the suck of the fall but look what we're working up against here so this floor obviously is not level because we are too high with this radiator now and there's not much play on this guy so somehow I gotta lift this back end up while catching this half a union on here so let's see if we can do it and uh I need your guys' help. So, come along with me. Help me. Hand me a freaking wrench or something, will you? Hand me a wrench. Hand me a freaking pry bar or something. Do something, will you? If you don't want to do anything, as long as you could just hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, that's the least that you can do today. All right, guys, let's get to it. Here we go. All right. Guys, I'm going to try to my guy to this. She's heavy. She's heavy, but she might go. Getting some water in there. Okay. I'm gonna try to get out of this. Just like that. Okay. A little more. This is gonna be easy. This sure ain't gonna be easy. Too high. 
too hot, it's too hot. She wants to go, but she doesn't. Mine. You guys, this radiator is heavy. She's heavy. But we're not packing. And we're gonna get it. We are for sure we're gonna get it. Bring this over. Just like that. Difference. difference, right? Oh my god, that was driving me crazy the way it was before. It was, huh? Yeah, yeah. I was like, it looks so odd. And people say, Oh, I was like, No, no, I don't like the way it looks. How right. am I gonna have two heat in here? Right, right, right. No, I think you made a good a good decision. Yeah. So, what was this? Uh, uh, there was a doorway here? No, this was like a small little room. And how did you get into it? There was no doorway? No, no, because the door was here. From that side? Yeah. Interesting. Wow. So the door was here and then this one was the, the way it is. It right. was just the one. It was like a small little room. I was right. like, oh, I would like to Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, make it bigger. Extend it. Yeah, Very and nice. the living room area over there looks like too small. Because this was originally the living room. Oh, really? Yeah. When wow. I came to see the house. Wow. Interesting. I was like, no. So someone gave me the idea, but why you don't do the living room? Right. Oh, On that side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was another wall. Smart. Very smart. Yeah. Good move. Mommy, get that second. You're not supposed to be there. Yeah, be careful. Come on. No, 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 no. Come. We're going to get out. She just came to get out a few things. Come on. You got to get out. Because you have to. Sounds like, no, I would like the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. So, due to the integrity of this floor, which was not level, I was having a hard time getting this radiator connected. So, we extended it. And we pushed it out past this plank right here where I get a more solid level ground. So we added a three quarter by shoulder, black nipple, and a three quarter coupling. We brought it out, we're tied in, we're tied in down there also. Right now we're gonna fill this boiler up and uh, make sure everything gets hot, so. Um, we are gonna check down there to see if there's anything leaking. But right now we're gonna go and fill this boiler up. Here we go. All right, guys, hope everybody's enjoying their Saturday out here. Well, we are. Hey, puppy. What happened? What are you talking about? What's the matter? They got you, they got you locked up, man. Why? What happened? Oh, you're feisty. Mm. A lot of people have dogs out here. You know what? I just don't have the time for the dog. I don't have the time. Um, all right, guys. Here's that flow check. Here's that old ass flow check that I wasn't even messing with it because this. Handle here, it's starting to drip and it's all corroded. So I wasn't messing with it. We were getting a little reverse flow coming back, but <clears throat> right now we are gonna open everything up and we're gonna fill everything up. So let's open up the indirect loop. That's the indirect loop. Supply return, right down there. We're gonna open up this feed right here. Expansion tanks are good. Let's open up the feet. Let's see. This, this valve broke. This valve broke. Oh boy, we got problems here. Oh 
Oh boy. Oh boy. This shot is broke. Oh boy, we got problems here. Is this valve we broke in the close position or what? We're not getting anything. I'm gonna lift this handle up on this pressure reducing valve. Hopefully we get some activity. Open. Partially closed, partially open, who the fuck knows. I don't know, but she's spinning for days. And uh, you can tell right here, it's broken. I marked it broken. Let's add some pressure into this boiler. If this dog will stop from barking. I'm only about 22 pounds in here, guys. Fill this baby up. And this. Turn the switch on. Let's get some heat up in here. Oil fire boiler. Oil fire boiler. So I put broken on this valve tag here because she's spinning for days. This circulator is for the domestic. For that indirect loop. Here's our boiler circulator right here. So we got one continuous zone. And uh, they got flow checks all over this place. We got a flow check up there. I'm not really messing with it. And this guy I'm not messing with. Okay. But we did get a little reverse flow, but nothing too much. Not too much damage, you know, it's done. This I don't like. This is clearly back pitched. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this looks like it's going up, then it drops down a half inch, and it goes out. Whatever. It is what it is. Let's, uh, let's go upstairs and make sure we got heat up there. Let's do it. Alright guys, we're just confirming with FLIR's i7 thermal imaging camera. And the boiler is making temp. We're at 153, 153 coming out. And she's running like a beast. She's running. Beautiful. But guys, what I don't see on this, I don't see any purge station. Very odd. Very odd. Just to drain here to drain the expansion tanks. I don't even see a damn purge station. Would you believe that? I don't see a, a purge station here. That's crazy. All right, I'm gonna have to bleed upstairs though. I'm gonna bleed upstairs, bleed these radiators upstairs, but let's just make sure this boiler temp is coming up. 156, 157, 158. Beautiful. Beautiful. And I got a basement loop here also. All right, let's go upstairs and start bleeding. Guys, we just wanna check and make sure nothing's leaking. That nipple that we caped out looks pretty good. Got that nice and plugged. All right, we're gonna bleed. We're gonna bleed this monster right from here. But damn, they put a lot of freaking paint on there. Let's see if it'll come off. Let's see. All right, guys, we finally got all the freaking paint off of this bleeder. And she's bleeding. Man, I found paint stuck all over this thing. You can hear it. She's bleeding, but slowly. Let's wait till we get some air up here. That's what I'm doing. And we'll just wait. Let's see. All right, she's coming up. We got a hot spot right there. We got a hot spot. 76, 77. We got a hot spot. She's coming up. All right, give it some time. Guys, make sure you bleed these radiators. You really don't want to get a call back saying that one of the radiators isn't hot. You want to come in once, do what you got to do, and then leave, guys. You don't want to get any callbacks. Think. Be sharp with your mind. Let's wait for this to get hot. Let's wait a few minutes, and uh, we should be good to go. Let's do a little cleaning up. And get paid. All right, guys. Beautiful. That's what we want. We want all that shitty water to be coming out of here. We want to bleed it. Beautiful. Make sure 
sure you close this nice and tight. <clears throat> All right, so we got water up here. Let's make sure we got something up here. Let's see. Hi. Guys, so what's cool about the Grunfist Alphas pump is, um, all right, guys, so what's cool about the Grunfist Alpha circulator pumps here, they have this magnet here to show you that the impeller is rotating with this little key here. You can find this at um, any plumbing supply has it, but uh, this is from heatingpartswarehouse.com, and it tells you that that pump is circulating, and we got some good circulation. So want to know if your Grunfist Alpha is spinning? Invest in this little tool right here. All right, she just shut off. But, uh, oh yeah, we got some heat. Beautiful. All right, guys, All right, guys that is it. We are out of here and uh, another happy customer. All right, guys, and that's what I call taking out the trash. Guys, if any of you out there need a 18 inch cast iron radiator, 18 inch long by 21 high, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven section two column you got seven sections and you got two columns one and then two if you need this cast iron radiator give me a call shoot me an email local pickup if needed but you know i tell people not to get rid of these you can use them for steam or hot water so guys on that note hope everybody enjoyed the content just as much as you guys are enjoying the weekend out there and uh we're out here almost six days a week putting in that hard work so guys Leave a comment down below, hit that thumbs up button, and like always, let's do yours next, baby.